create a new session in Pro Tools, first launch Pro Tools. Then at the top menu, go to File and select New Session, or feel free to use the shortcut Command N. Along with naming your new session, you'll have to tell Pro Tools where to create folders and contents of the new session, as well as what type of audio files will be created, their sample rate, and their bit depth. For more information about sampling rates and bit depth, check out the Pro Audio Forum at StereoCanvas.com. By opening the drop-down menus, we can see what type of audio files we can create in Pro Tools, Broadcast Wave, AIFF, and Sound Designer 2 files. For sample rates, we can see it starting at 44.1 kHz and going all the way up to 96 kHz because right now we're connected to the 002 using Pro Tools 7.0 LE. Also when you create a new session you're able to recall preset and out settings. This is the default screen that occurs directly after creating a new session. This is the edit window. There's a lot of information shown here just by looking at the edit window. But let's create some stuff to play with before we get into that. To create a new track or multiple tracks, go to the top of Pro Tools and under Track, select New or use the shortcut Command Shift N. In the New Tracks menu, you can define the new track as either mono or stereo, as an audio track, an auxiliary input, a master fader, a MIDI track, or an instrument track. You can also tell it to be in samples or in ticks. The plus symbol to the right of samples and ticks will allow you to make multiple or various types of tracks at the same time. <laughs> 